Right everyone, Wack Black here. I thought I'd do a video on my homemade lock picks that I made about three, four years ago I think. Possibly even more than that, I can't actually remember. But I just thought I'd go over them, show you them and then if people liked them and wanted to know how to make them later date I could actually show you how to make them. It's pretty easy to make, I'll, I'll show you them first. Right, so this is the case, and this was just a darts case, and it'd have your darts in there and your uh, flights and that. So I took all that stuff out and put in my lock picks, which I made. So I'll get all these out and then I'll show you all the stuff. It's, they're pretty easy to make. They're basically made of hacksaw blades and any sort of thin, strong metal. I think that's all of it. So here's the actual picks. Zoom in a bit. These are the picks and they're all made from hacksaw blades. If you do make these, you want, uh, the, I can't remember what kind of metal it is, I'll find out, but there's different kinds of hacksaw blades and some work better than others. You get like the brittle metal that breaks easily, you don't want that. This stuff's pretty good, the ones I use for this, it's slightly bendy, they won't snap. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit more. So then you can see the ends there. And they've all got different ends on them. And if when you make them you're not sure what to put on the ends, just look on Google for images of lock picks and then just copy those. So that's the picks. Then you have to have a tensioning tool, which is just a bent piece of metal like that. This one's got two different ends. And you need different sizes of these. This one's just a bent over nail. A smaller one here. And then a tiny little one there. And they are used for putting in the actual lock. When you pick a lock, you put the tension tool into the, the keyhole at the bottom and you twist it slightly and then you put the picks in and you push the pins up and that is actually how you pick a lock and then eventually it will spin around and then paper clips they can be used for you know as a pick for very simple locks hairpin you know any thin metal that can get into the lock push the pins up Yeah, so that is my basic little lockpick set. Basically cost me nothing because I already had the, the hacksaw blade. All, all you need is a bench grinder and some files basically. That's all I used. You can get good, you know, if you want to, you can, you can have the handles even longer. I'm not actually sure what is easier. I'm not an expert on lock picks or anything like that. I don't know if bigger handles are better than short handles. I think bigger you may have more feeling in it, you know, like you can feel the pins easier. I'm not really sure though. But it costs you nothing, you know, unless you have to buy the hacksaw blades and it's, it's probably still going to be cheaper than buying them and I bet there's places where you can't actually buy them anyway. Yeah, so that is it. Uh, uh, if I've got the stuff, you know, if I've got any good hacksaw blades I can make some lockpicks out of, I'll make some lockpicks for you in in a video and show you how to actually make them. It's very easy and I may at a later date do a lockpicking video. I have actually got an old lockpicking video. I'll put an annotation here and then you can either click it now or, or I'll leave this on until the end or put it on again at the end and then you can watch me 
picking a lock in a very hard video. Alright, so that is my homemade lock pick set. I hope you liked it and you know if you've got any questions or anything just ask and I'll answer them. Alright, see you later.